Now, more than ever, teams must come together and work together to solve big challenges. And Trello is here to help. Trello, part of Atlassian's collaborative suite, is an app with an easy-to-understand visual format, plus tons of features that make working with your team functional and fun. With Trello, you can work with your team wherever you are, whether it's at home or in an office. Keep your workflow going from wherever you are with Trello. Try Trello for free and learn more at Trello.com. That's T-R-E-L-L-O dot com. Working remotely can be a challenge, especially for teams that are new to it. How do you deal with your work environment being the same as home while staying productive? At a time when teams must come together more than ever to solve big challenges, Trello's here to help. Trello, part of Atlassian's collaborative suite, has been powering remote teams globally for almost a decade. Trello keeps everyone on the same page, helping teams communicate, focus, and connect. Try Trello for free and learn more at Trello.com. That's T-R-E-L-L-O dot com. Dan and Rand and Jay will share tales of folks so unaware they lack in grace and sometimes choose the life they choose will make the news. Breaking down each epic fail in Florida, there's half price bail. I'm happy to say they couldn't make this up. Dumb, dumb, so dumb, listen dumb, to dumb, our podcast dumb, jams dumb, with co-host Arm and Dan. Dumb, dumb, Members, dumb, don't be a jerk, dumb, cause when the music gets the funny dumb, hits dumb, and we are gonna dumb, take dumb, you down. Stick around. Make a sound, hunker down, it's Dumb People Town. Hey, Townies, welcome to another episode of Dumb People Town. Population you. Population Ross. Dave <laughs> Ross. Ross dressed for more. Ross Hello. dressed for more. I am wearing a lot of clothes. You've got a new album out. We'll talk about that later. Okay. We've got dumb stuff to get to. We do. Right? Uh, Dave let's, Ross. Yeah, let's address the dumb elephant in the dumb room. <laughs> Which there's a big dumb elephant in the room right now, and it and keeps getting Dumbo. bigger. It's and a big it's, legal battle. It's is dumb. <laughs> it is, and we just feel like we just feel like the world is getting dumber. People are but, the elephant in the room oh. is that the world just continues to get dumber, and there's this large elephant of dumbness. Now, obviously, on the we're not, I see. We're not saying that in general. Okay, yeah, we've advanced technologically in many ways, and in many ways we have become a more open and accepting society in some areas. Mm-hmm. I think there is a large Are you portion... talking specifically to Todd Glass right now? Yes. <laughs> okay, good. Okay. No, but I think there's a large portion of this country that is, I think before there was a, an ignorance that pervaded the world, and now there's willful, willful ignorance, yeah. which to us feels dumber. I think that there are a lot of people that can go either way. I think this is about comedy a lot. You know, there's like... Comedians that most most comics could look at a comedian uh, that's incredibly hack, and we all generally agree that person is hack and sucks and sure. and mm-hmm. fuck that, you know. Right. But uh, then people can also like your artful comedy and that hacky comedian, totally. and I really do think that a lot of people just don't think about it. They like could be pulled in either direction, and so if the world is one way, they're pulled in that direction. Yeah. True. And so now we live in this world that is. Partially run by Donald Trump, and then people just go that way because you know they got kids and they're not thinking about it. it you know? being, I, we got kids and we're thinking. About I it. think about it all the time. I wish I didn't think about it because it is getting dumber. The only way to fight. I'm back. not saying it's good. No, <laughs> it ain't. He's not supporting it. No, no, Dave thinks it's great. No, Dave. Yeah, doesn't. I think those people are good, yeah. and I like what they've done, and I support everything they're in, they're in, on board with. Well, let's hear a dumb story that gets sent to us by our awesome friends. Yeah. Let's do it. Okay, sent in by Ed Man eighty eight. At Brood, B-R-O-O-D. Brood, bro. Thanks, Ed, man. This was sent in a lot. Ed, man, 88, send it in first. Great. Mickey Polk, okay, is currently on the run from police. What do you think about that? The two-syllable first, one-syllable last. Mickey Polk? Mickey Polk. <laughs> Mickey Polk. <laughs> Sounds like a Cone Brothers character. Yeah. Mickey Polk buried the body in the park. It is. It right? is like a little Mickey, Mickey Polk. Polk came by earlier today. P U L K? P A U L K. Polk. Polk. Either Polk. way, it's one letter off from okay with me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like if you told me Polk was like really salted pork, I'd be like, yeah. Yeah. Polk. Polk. Well, we've this we've been Polk. salting this pork for like the last three weeks. Mm-hmm. We hang it underneath. Mm-hmm. And we, just we hang salt it underneath it the cellar. It sounds like something you have to make on the Great British Breaking <laughs> we Show. We hang it underneath. Polk is like haggis. Dave's been stuffed Dave's, into a cupcake. Somebody salted Dave for the last three years. <laughs> yeah. Mickey Polk 
is currently on the run from police, but that doesn't mean he isn't a responsible squirrel owner, he says. Okay. Okay, those words should not be used together. There is no such thing as a is responsible squirrel Is that the real story? Is yes. That, yes. This is how the story is written? That's yes. the beginning that's of the, the article. first sentence in the article. Dan, I think this this story should be about this writer. A hundred percent. And that, people okay, town. Dave, that happens a lot in dumb people town. Sometimes, <laughs> okay. the, sometimes the dumb people are the people who create who do the crime. Sometimes the dumb people are the people who the crimes are committed against. <laughs> right. Sometimes the dumb people are the police. <laughs> right. yes. Sometimes the dumb people are the people covering the But when the story. you think about the desks around the journalism room, which is something I just created. That's right. what you call it. You, yeah. The person doing all of your crazy dumb news stories is not on par with who's ever handling the newest city council meeting. Right. No. Right? <laughs> They're like This is an entry level here, unless you're Will Greenlee, in which case you are the best. They let you do your yeah. thing. Okay. Wait, Dan, Polk also sounds like the noise you make as you're gagging. Polk. Yeah. Polk. Polk. <laughs> Wait, he Tracy is Morgan a, bit. He's Tracy a Morgan responsible. He's a squirrel, squirrel owner. Squirrel right. owner. I'm, he's currently on the run for police, but that doesn't mean that he isn't a responsible squirrel owner. He that has says. nothing to do with he that. Says, he says. He is, says. Right. So there's nothing what is else happening? to back that up. According to, <laughs> according to Polk. Give me more quote, information first. Quote, my squirrel is babied beyond anything anyone can imagine. Like a baby? Do I can imagine a baby. To... Like <laughs> a newborn baby? I bet they're pretty well baby. I'm going to sit here and imagine how well, much that squirrel could be baby right now. <laughs> yeah. In a crib, swaddled up with a little pacifier in his little mouth. Diaper, little tiny diaper. Tiny diaper. Tiny. It, it has feeding actually... it Gerbers with a tiny spoon. Have I'm going to go with a big diaper. <laughs> a <laughs> huge, big one. Big, adorable diaper on this Have you spider. wiped poop out of its squirrel, squirrel vagina? Then I don't think you've babied this child. Right. I don't even think that's how squirrels work. No, nope. my squirrel is baby <laughs> babies beyond anything <laughs> anyone can imagine. That is saying a lot. <laughs> it has a very good life. He told the Washington Post. What's so no. crazy is that is the Washington Post listened. We still, at this point in the article, have no clue what happened. No, right? no they've no, given he, us all this info about him Dave. as a squirrel Owner, caretaker. Dave, he is yeah. on the run from police, yes. and he is a responsible. <laughs> what more do you well, need to know? You know what? <laughs> You're right. What Fuck else me. do you need? Jesus. Also, I'm pretty sure, Dave. This is the rider. Mm -hmm. we, we'd like to talk to you about the crimes that you're on the run for. Happy yep. to do so. Uh, Here's my deal. We, I will not address, <laughs> Let me address the elephant in the room. I am a responsible squirrel owner. Here's the first okay. thing. Here's the first thing. I own a squirrel. You're you are crazy. <laughs> nope. Nope. That squirrel is crazy. I don't for think a you squirrel. heard me. <laughs> I baby that thing in a way that you and no one, else, no one an entity entity that exists in this universe or ones beyond us could ever imagine. You have two, you have you have two children and you took care of them. You raised them by yourself. Yeah, you nowhere, don't treat no, them as well as nowhere I. Nowhere near the way I baby. This I squirrel. treat the squirrel like it's a special needs squirrel. Hulk. That's how much I give love to the. Squirrel. I treat the squirrel so much like a baby. It's bad for the squirrel. Yes, yes. it is bad for the squirrel. P.S. <laughs> it is terrible yeah, for the squirrel. The squirrel's not gonna be able to grow up on its own and get its own nuts. I treat this squirrel so much like a baby, it's not vaccinated. That, <laughs> sir, you definitely wow, must. sir. <laughs> Hulk and his unusual pet have been in the spotlight since Monday <laughs> when authorities uh -huh. in Limestone County accused him of keeping, quote, an attack squirrel in a cage <laughs> and feeding it methamphetamine so that it would stay <laughs> aggressive. Nope. Right. Wow. Now, if you know anything about me, mm -hmm. that's probably not happening. Otherwise, I would never do this story. <laughs> Meth squirrel. Dan, he said he was babying it. I don't know why you have any doubts yeah. that he would be kept in Dan. a cage and being fed meth. Because he's a baby. You're right. You that's what, babies in that's what you they do just don't with have babies. Lids. They just don't have lids. So what this guy's story is, is that he keeps a squirrel in a cage, mm -hmm. feeds it meth, so it can no, attack that's, things. That's what the police say, damn oh, it. Oh, I'm that's sorry. He wants squirrel. everyone to know he is a responsible squirrel He owner. doesn't give it math. Hey, do you know what I call an attack squirrel? A squirrel. Yeah. Because yeah. squirrels go. will attack you, period. Yes. Yeah. Man, that the was The story made national headlines, <laughs> but Polk insists that he raised the squirrel as if it were his own child, bottle feeding it every few hours and keeping it warm with a heating pad when it was first born. Any Allegations to the contrary are slander. Said <laughs> slander. Uh, he just learned slander. Slander. <laughs> slander is new to him, and he is wielding it. By the way, that's not slander. No, it's not. Slander it's is an accusation. Yeah, it's an accusation just based that you've said something, right? Right. 
I, I believe. Slander is, is the type of person you are. Libel. That's libel. Okay, yes. sorry. Slander <laughs> is about your behavior. Thank like you. Right. Crushing it over here. <laughs> Dude, thank, thank you. Thank you. you. He doesn't, I feel stupid now. This is, look at this. Some, is someone's <laughs> sick of meth squirrel on Jay for that I comment mean, right there. He I doubles deserve. down, guys. Qu- this is another quote from the article. He doesn't even <laughs> like it when people smoke around his pet since squirrels have a delicate sense of smell. Yeah. But okay, but what's the story? Like what's he, the <laughs> no, 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 Dave, Dave, you are asking too, <laughs> too many, many questions, questions. <laughs> of the You are asking What happened? Dave, you are asking questions of a baby squirrel that we do not need to ask. <laughs> Quote the squirrel is I need the- to protect his delicate lungs. <laughs> Give me that meth so I can shove that into his Just anus. Just don't smoke it around him because yeah. he's yeah, his smell. Don't smoke it. Uh the squirrel is not on meth, he insisted. I honestly think that would actually kill it. Palk. Definitely. And the squirrel. <laughs> here we go. This How many times have you been in a relationship and they said it's the squirrel, squirrel or me? me. And he's then, like, you don't even need to finish yeah. that sentence. <laughs> <laughs> you could have ended, ended it squirrel. You could have ended it squirrel, Pack your baby. bags. <laughs> Pack your bags and don't light up in front of the squirrel. <laughs> Palk and the squirrel, who he named... D's nuts. No. Yes. Oh my God. With a Z, of course. That's what my son's name. No. Because <laughs> you baby, you baby him. Because you baby. Him. I baby that's why. Have it. had a couple wild of days. Oh, I think sure. we're about to oh, unpack. We're going to find out now. Narcotics should we, officers. Should we take a break before we unpack it, or is there? <laughs> you know what? I don't want to know. I know enough now. You, you yeah, do? Yeah, now we, it's we too much information. Over. Let's, Let's take a quick break. break. And Let's when we come here. back, Dave Ross, we're going to find out about what well, he's got. A new album coming out. And, and then we're going to find out what the nuts. wild days of we'll these nuts. We'll learn about these nuts. And this guy, and Polk, after this, it's Dumb People Town. Stick around. Make a sound. There's more Dumb People Town. Working remotely can be a challenge, especially for teams that are new to it. How do you deal with your work environment being the same as home while staying connected and productive? And then there's your newest coworker, the cat. Well, your friends at Trello have been powering remote teams globally for almost a decade. At a time when teams must come together more than ever to solve big challenges, Trello's here to help. Trello, part of Atlassian's collaborative suite, is an app with an easy-to-understand visual format, plus tons of features that make working with your team functional and just plain fun. Trello keeps everyone organized and on the same page, helping teams communicate, focus, and connect. Teams of all shapes and sizes at companies like Google, Fender, Costco, and likely your favorite neighborhood coffee shop all use Trello to collaborate and get work done. Try Trello for free and learn more at Trello.com. That's T-R-E-L-L-O dot com. Trello dot com. It's a trying time that challenges all of our basic assumptions. However, one thing that brings us all together is our common humanity. Now, more than ever, teams must come together and work together to solve big challenges. And Trello is here to help. Trello, part of Atlassian's collaborative suite, is an app with an easy-to-understand visual format. Plus, tons of features that make working with your team functional and just plain fun. Teams of all shapes and sizes and companies like Google, Fender, and even Costco all use Trello to collaborate and get work done. With Trello, you can work with your team wherever you are, whether it's at home, or in an office. No matter what device you're using, computer, tablet, or phone, Trello syncs across all of them, so you can stay up to date on all the things your team cares about. Keep your workflow going from wherever you are with Trello. Try Trello for free and learn more at Trello.com. That's T-R-E-L-L-O dot com. Trello.com. Hey guys, welcome back to the show. Uh, we want to mention we are here with the great Dave Ross, our good friend, Hello. friend of the show. He's got a new comedy album that is out already. It's out. Uh, it can be found on, it, it's, first of all, give us the website that people can find it, and I'm going to tell you, you're going to attract a lot of people who don't know what your comedy is and are going to be very <laughs> Maybe surprised. Maybe Polk <laughs> might hit this website. Let's explain the website. I would love for Polk to buy my album. Uh, the website is uh, www.sex.guns.beer. Sure, you won't be attracting anybody. <laughs> Sex.guns.beer. Don't yeah. put all three of those things together except in a website where you're looking for Dave <laughs> Ross's comedy <laughs> album. That's the only place we'll allow those three, three things to happen. Uh, sex, That's actually the order in which you should experience them with time between each. Have yeah. some sex, sex. Then later on, if you want to shoot guns, fine. Do After you've done field. those things, have then a beer. drink. Then have Don't a beer. drink That's first. true. Uh, the yeah, album that's is, the order. The album is called... The only man who has ever had sex. The only man who has You are. I am. There you go. So if you guys want to know what it's like, just talk to me I've told you personally how much I love what I consider Instagram art that you do. Oh, thank you, man. And it has to take so long to do that. It does. It takes me 
at least 20, 30 minutes just to promo one show with one post. <laughs> Isn't it crazy how time consuming it's all that so is? And then consuming. someone asks you what you did today, and you feel so ashamed to say you spent three hours trying yes. to promote three shows. Right. And so I'm like, I just did some stuff because it does take way Aaron's, too long for us. Uh, we'll follow him on Instagram and see the re- oh, reap great. the rewards of all of his work. You made it art. You made Actually, it art. It's funny you say this because yeah. I, I didn't. I didn't put it out with a CD or a tape. Yeah. Instead, I'm releasing it with a flip book this is that's where I based to on the Instagram stories. And it's amazing, yeah, yeah. too. I have saw you flip through, I think, on one of your stories. I'm like, this is great. Thanks, man. Because it is Love so it. true, too. As, as uh, I just recorded my album, and there's nothing... Go, nothing goes along with it anymore. Totally. There's no, it's too bad. Like, there's no... I'm not going to sell... CD no at the show, sleeve. like because I would. We do, we do, we do. I know, people but you get guys a, got you guys got older history. audiences. No, yeah, no, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> Those people love that stuff. Amy Twirls. Miller came out with us and sold CDs, and she did great. But I mean, the 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 point, you, your point is well taken. It is very cool that there's you know, yeah, that stuff. But you should be selling the flip books at shows and all for that sure. Stuff. You, absolutely. I'm actually they getting look good, man. They look I'm good. actually getting tapes made specifically to sell in person because I think that is where people buy. Them. I think yeah. people dig that because yeah. you can sign it and then it becomes. It's like true. a bit of a, totally. of a collector's piece. It's cool. So the new album, the uh, only guy, the only the man, only man who, has who has ever had, had sex. sex. Fantastic. Dave Ross, pick it up. Go to Amazon, iTunes, wherever you can get it. Uh, yeah. A special go thing. Go to sex.guns.beer. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> uh, do that. <laughs> dot gov. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> kidding. Org. So, and uh, from two weeks ago, people should check out your cordon set. Man, so thank you. Good, this dude. is all good, man. Hey, dude, we love having you here. And so when you get that applause break in it, and you're like. Thanks. <laughs> but you know that feeling? Like you realize yeah. that oh it was that that was my favorite uh, moment. Thanks, man. man. Dude, yeah. It's funny doing have you have I know that you guys have done a bunch of late night. We have you done Corden? And we have not it, done Corden. No, have it's not. such a warm room. It's great. Cra- he walks awesome. out and gives a speech about how they sh- they're a great audience and they need to pay attention because stand up is hard and so you need a lot of focus. And you walk out to them like being primed by him. And then mm-hmm. I riffed up top and they kept it in the tape. Yeah. I was, dude, it was great. Man. That is really cool. And it is <laughs> yeah. fun. I feel like we've changed. We've gotten sort of, you know, since the old sets that we've done, we've just gotten better in understanding how, how to do, do it. it. So oh, I would like, yeah, it's a skill. Right now, I would oh, I would love to see that. So so anyway, but all of that aside, I'm very excited about your new album. And I hope our fans check it out and pick oh, it up. Thank you. Daniel Van Kirk's got some tour dates. at dude, Dan- go to DanielVanKirk.com. I'm gonna so be go see him. He's Jackson. Chicago and a whole bunch of dates Florida, around the East, East Coast, Coast and yes. the Midwest and then we have a ton of dates on superscholars.com and then of course we have the two big uh, Dumb People Town dates we're doing Come Dumb on, People Town live at Largo get there Pete Yorn Andy Richter and Kate McCucci. I don't know what, when shit, this drops what? if this drops before that's on the uh, 9th? September 9th yep. that's a Monday if for some reason you missed that show don't worry New Yorkers and our New York friends Michael Che is going to be on our show on uh, Sunday October 13th at the Bell House we're going to try and sell that out and then book another show after that which oh, yeah. uh, and Randy right. and I the two nights before that will be in Boston for the first time doing stand up ever laugh Boston in it, first time we've ever done stand up no, in, in Boston in Boston we've done stand up <laughs> and then the night before that on Thursday night we're going to be in DC we added a DC at the Come comedy on, the comedy loft have you ever performed at the comedy I haven't yet I hear it's great though I hear it's great too so we'll be there on that uh, Thursday night on the uh, my children might come 11th. with me my family 10th on Thursday and then 11th and 12th in Boston and then New York we kind of make a little east coast swing go to supersclarus.com we'll get all y'all set alright let's find out about this damn squirrel so the man's on the run. Right. <laughs> Him and D's nuts have had a wild couple of days. Who's okay. nuts? Narcotics officers <laughs> from the Limestone County Sheriff's Office were tipped off about the squirrel during a drug investigation and showed up with a search warrant on Monday. They already got the warrant. They know what's going on. We, we oh, need the I squirrel. I love it. Mickey. They just have a very big jacket to put who, it in. Mickey, who you guys keep calling Polk. <laughs> I, I want to rep that first Mickey name, Polk. which is weird in its own way, too. Mickey Polk. Mickey Polk wasn't there, but another man who was present was arrested. Uh-huh. Welcome to the South, man, one neighbor told (laughs) W-A-A-Y. We got squirrels on meth. That is, that is, I think that is how this story ran. One person said we got squirrels on meth, and then everybody. What was that rap say. song? Welcome to Miami, where the players play. I don't Wasn't know. Is that a song? song? Wasn't in that Benito a- Miami? Welcome, yeah. Welcome to the, the jungle. Know, where the only well, welcome play. to I know is the jungle. I know. Welcome, welcome to, to the New York, South, where the is... squirrels on meth. Welcome to New York. <laughs> that which I, is... now I remember. Welcome to yeah. the South, where yeah, the yeah, squirrels yeah. on yeah. meth. In fact, the daily. My wife is my cousin, and her name is Beth. There you go. Beth, I see you doing meth. Okay. 
In fact, the Daily reported it was impossible to confirm the animal's alleged meth use. Officers didn't find any drugs in his cage, and there was no way to safely test the squirrel for meth, which means someone had a conversation. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but the squirrel was missing three te- teeth and trying to chew through its cheek. The squirrel the was cage just cage was very clean, pacing so. back and forth at Walmart. But because it's illegal to keep <laughs> a squirrel as a pet in Alabama. They couldn't just leave him there. Since the creature seemed healthy and wasn't emaciated, police released him into the wooded area nearby. Mm. So they're just letting him go. Yeah. (laughs) They don't even know how baby this guy is. What? Quote, they'll never make it out in the woods. The squirrel could be seen at the corner of the forest just asking other animals, yo, you got some acorns? Mm -hmm. Yo. Mm -hmm. Yo, What came to pass? Hook a brother up. To make the state of Alabama outlaw owning a squirrel like but, what happened right. okay so <laughs> what came to pass to have them outlaw owning a squirrel and then approve anti like owning a, a ban, gun ban <laughs> squirrels and abortions right they draw right. the line at squirrels yeah we're gonna uh, protect squirrels, our okay. squirrels more than we protect the moms uh, right. yeah. here we go he goes uh oh, mickey polk said the charges that are on me which also makes it sound way more dramatic yeah. on, me, on me uh are just as bogus as the squirrel doing meth he's so this reporter wants to get back to the case <laughs> that's right that's all he cares about uh-huh. once he learned that police released the squirrel outdoors mickey polk went back to try and find his twitchy companion <laughs> that's your invoking twitchy that's companion that's is really, maybe yep, baby right, so. come back he had never adopted Q, Q music. He had never planned on Baby adopting a squirrel back. in the first place, but about a year ago, any kind of squirrel would do. <laughs> while he was working for a company cutting trees, the baby fell out of a branch. Mickey Polk, whose previous pets include a raccoon and a tarantula, no, I'm gonna uh, tell you right now, what? took the small creature home. <laughs> this so, is this uh, is the plot of the first Chipmunks movie. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you, what are you this talking about? Is this is the plot. prequel that we bought a zoo. <laughs> so he's my at- tarantula is not on acid. <laughs> <laughs> That's his first name. <laughs> Mickey Polk on a blind date at a TGI Friday. So I got some pets. <laughs> the raccoon is addicted to Lunchables, but we are working that on one, his diet. The That's raccoon, the I do give drugs. Run. I give drugs to the raccoon. Well, look, I can't get the drugs away from the raccoon. <laughs> the raccoon's on Oxy. He's got thumbs. Look, but his eyes look like, you know, sunken in with like black circles around him anyway. So right, it's like, so who cares? Yeah, right. Screw it. Uh, so yeah, he's had a raccoon, he's had a tarantula. I'm gonna say never had a lasting relationship. Or custody of his kids. <laughs> or a steady job. For the next six weeks, he woke up every two hours to feed him formula and make sure that the heating pad was working. <laughs> Trust the heating pad. Yeah, okay. yeah. It's a heating heating, pad. By the way, heating pads What's, don't go out every hour and a half. Right. What's so funny about that is that maybe the squirrel's not on meth, but Mickey is definitely, definitely on meth. Yes. You're <laughs> Right. You're you not- think I would share? I mean, give my meth to my yeah. squirrel? He's up every two hours. Yeah, man. Meaning. You're giving formula to a squirrel? You're out of your fucking mind, dude. And someone else That's was the most meth thing you can <laughs> Taking in a squirrel, then feeding it formula, is then like, making it your own is like, like a definition of being That on is meth. the best day ever in a meth. You know, and then person state. on there was somebody else in the house. Calendar. He had a roommate who's like, "Come on, dude, a more again with this squirrel. Just can we turn the lights off?" <laughs> no, he likes it. He likes the baby. He likes He's it. my baby. He yeah. likes it. <laughs> Mr. White. You stay away from my baby. Mr. White. I'm trying to say the squirrel, Mr. White. Uh, Jesse. 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 Uh, for the next six weeks, he woke up every two hours. If he informed them, make sure the heating pad was working. Get a new heating pad. Eventually, he trained the junior squirrel. I don't know if that means he's got some sort of grading system. This writer is garbage. Guys, I hate this writer. He's in a different stratosphere. Yeah. He's a junior squirrel. He's got two more years of eligibility and then becomes a senior squirrel. <laughs> he, eventually, he trained the junior squirrel to use a litter box Sleep in a hammock and eat potato chips and caramel M and M's. By the way, what? that's a great life. <laughs> <laughs> I would By say the way, I want to be this guy's squirrel. He didn't Me teach too. the animal <laughs> how to eat caramel. In him. He put it he in front of it, it and, and the animal. Well, ate you know what it. they say? I if you give not. a squirrel some caramel, right, he's yours forever. But if you teach him, right. teach him how to eat. find I the caramel. Th- I would have given him peanut M and M's, caramel M and M's. Have you tried to eat the caramel M and M's? Randy, he's a baby. He might have a peanut allergy. I will go peanut M and M's on the M and M's. That's it. Other than that, I'm a Reese's Pieces guy, and I Reese's Pieces. Yes. 
Okay. That's it. Come on, man. <laughs> yeah. So, use a litter box. Sleep in a hammock. You know he made the hammock. Uh, that took oh, all totally. night. He God made it out it. of like one of those medicine, uh, like a, a hospital mask. No, they he made you. a hammock. Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> <laughs> that's adorable. <laughs> I, that, or like a bag. He a ripped lemon it bag. off a SARS woman, a woman who's no. afraid of SARS. You don't he, need this. <laughs> he bought a bag of lemons and cut it in half. When the animal started having seizures, Pock took Pock took him to. The, to yeah, a veterinarian. Because they're not supposed to eat caramel M and M's and meth. He Idiot. took him to a veterinarian over the state line in Tennessee because I guess they get it there. Yeah, exactly. Look, right? but, but so now my squirrel's on Depico. So he's like, look, this I got to drive. <laughs> I don't understand these laws. They're oppressing us. They're they're taking away our option of choice. I have to drive across state lines. <laughs> yeah. to get my. He's squirrel out there protesting with the pro choice people, and they're like, "Can you go down a one. little bit?" Yeah. my squirrel, my choice. <laughs> yeah, right. that's right. He wants uh, a single pair option for a the squirrel. Di- uh, D's nuts was diagnosed with a <laughs> calcium deficiency, and and they told Pock to cut back on nuts and seeds. That's probably where the caramel starts yeah. sliding in. And give the squirrel more squash and avocados. <laughs> Didn't know squirrels liked avocados. No, they do. Everyone involved in this story is a psychopath. That's right. How about Who's some avocados? <laughs> yeah, give your is... squirrel avocado. Right. No. Right. No. <laughs> the, vet should, the vet should have said, <laughs> "Why don't you leave him with us, and we'll take care of him. Come back in a week, and then as soon as the guy drives away, go release it in the woods." So he. He's away from the house when the squirrel gets, when D's nuts gets released into the woods and his buddy gets arrested and the cops have the warrant, right? Hulk told the Washington Post that there was no, and you know, around the Washington Post, they're like, thank God. They all wanted to do this story. Yeah, absolutely. Anything to like take a break. Yes. From they the were world. like, they probably bid on it. Yes. Uh, Hulk told the Post that there was no question he had to go back for D's nuts. <laughs> Return to Who's <laughs> nuts? He's like Which Jack guy? in the island. We got to go yeah, back for these nuts. nuts. <laughs> <laughs> no. Returning to the Don't s- leave a map to the Dutch people. <laughs> <laughs> Returning to the scene of the drug raid, he heard a screaming sound coming from a tree about 50 to 60 feet away. It was his pet. No. Once he saw it was me, he came down, he jumped on my arm and we got in the car and left. Oh my god. He's, I'm gonna really, tell you right now. Whoa, this t- is how addicted to meth that squirrel. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> I think maybe the craziest part of this story to me is that Mickey owns a car. I know. <laughs> Dave, I should tell you now. I specifically cultivated this story for you. Yeah, okay, so I appreciate perfect. it. Wait, yes. so he's gonna have sex with the squirrel? <laughs> Absolutely. No, yes. That's the next. No, step. No, and the craziest no. thing is that it's consensual. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's right. true. This I boy. babied it. Have I you ever tried to squirrel. have meth out sex with a squirrel? I, I mean, baby that squirrel. Oh, it's un- unmatched. I raised yeah. it. <laughs> Another level. Lay on your side so you don't throw up. <laughs> on Tuesday night, while still on the lamb, Mickey Polk logged in Logged on to Facebook to defend himself in a live streamed video. Oh, that's smart. who's doing That's just smart because you can't track where you are. That. Mickey's he, on meth, everybody. He declared, <laughs> he declared the charges against him to be bogus. Uh-huh. And while he while his pet could be mean and had bitten a few people, he was no <laughs> attack squirrel. People. You just described an attack <laughs> squirrel. <laughs> mean and bites people. <laughs> Bit a few people. Just because he's attacked a few people doesn't mean he's an attack squirrel. No. He did not stop the there. Mickey Polk then called into a local country radio station no. Jesus. Uh, and, ass- and assured yes. listeners, because you know the general public oh my wants God, to know dude. that the- I just oh want to assure listeners. I just want to assure listeners. Uh, the- I know everyone's very worried about these nuts. Well, I'm proud to be an American. <laughs> Listen, me, I'm gonna at least I know. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell you free. one more time, buddy. You you say that squirrel's name again. I'm gonna have to dump you. So you can't you, you can't keep saying. You just I'm say a- DZ. DZ. D N. Uh, uh, the squirrel. He assured, assured listeners that the squirrel was just fine. "Quote: He's in his hammock right now, munching <laughs> on a piece of celery." Nope. Again, not what the veterinarian told you to give him. He's in oh, his hammock God. is uh, is I not a squirrel being I, fine. That's what your mom, your retired parents say about one or the other when you're on the phone. I just with them. need the people of Limestone County to know that these nuts is in his hammock. Sir, I'm going to dump you right now. So y'all can stop worrying. I call it his banana hammock. No, all right, sir. 
You cannot say that. <laughs> Dan, I don't want to gloss over Dan's brilliant comment. Look, is He's in his hammock and he doesn't want to talk right now is what your retired parents <laughs> yes. say about the yeah. other the one. The other yes. one when you call him on the phone. Right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Mickey you, Polk plans to turn himself in once he has his legal representation sorted out. I cannot wait. To he see. wants custody. Gloria right. Allred, if you are out there, this case is for you. Yes. He told and to be clear, the way that this started is not Mickey, but Mickey's roommate got, got arrested, arrested for selling meth. In the house. They had a, war- a search for it for and, the house. And they found the squirrel and let it go. Yes. He and told he the went post. out in the woods and got it back. <laughs> He and so the- Mickey now both wants the squirrel back and wants the people of Limestone County to know that, he that he's not some sort of weirdo. Right. He wants the police to know, <laughs> let, me get my, let me get my orders together, back off, Got it. I'll come uh, on in. Yeah. Dave, he wants his son back. I, yes. he I understand. Want he wants his baby back, baby back, <laughs> baby back. Oh, he wants on, his baby, baby back, baby, baby back, baby back. back. D's nuts, <laughs> baby back squirrel. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't quit. <laughs> Mickey Polk plans Never. to turn himself in once he has legal representation sorted out. He told the Post, that's who we're still talking Washington to, Washington Post, that he was, quote, far enough away that it would cost them some gas to come get me. Does he think cops pay for their own gas? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he does. Oh, I, mean, I got a half a tank. I'm not going to get this guy. <laughs> come get me, taxpayers. And that he had just dropped off the creature with a, quote, a licensed person who deals with squirrels and whatnot. Nope. No idea what the whatnot is. There is no idea with squirrels and whatnot. That's all you need to know. <laughs> licensed person. Uh, a licensed person. Well, An- animal protective services. I do miss yes. him, he said. I usually let him sleep somewhere near my bed. I do miss him hard. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Uh, Mickey. Yes, yes. Told you he was trying to have sex with him. I, I feel for Mickey. Told man. you. Oh, man. I know. He missed his companion. I agree. Is that it? You know, you need a roommate. Jesus, that is a great, great, great. This oh may be God. one of the best minis we've ever done. Oh, oh holy! I literally the can't ballad believe. of Mickey Polk. Jesus, the Dave Ross. Of... Uh, the album is called Once Again. The, the last, only man, the only who man ever who's had ever sex. had sex, and you are uh, next uh, to Mickey Polk. You. I mean, we're not talking about man squirrel sex because of Mickey course. Polk. Has that's, that's never insinuated. Polk. You're going to hear from his ass. You keep invoking that sort of <laughs> slander. Yeah. Guess whose ass got heard from? Stop. These nuts. Yeah. He's gonna be at a Nams. He's gonna be at a Namsa. Nams. Namsla. Nams. 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 Oh, Namsla. Men Nams. squirrel love. <laughs> yeah. Nams. Nams. National Association of Man Squirrel. He's gonna love. call into a radio station and denounce all the shit you've put on him right Nams. now. Go ahead, call him. Go on a live Facebook stream. Oh right. my god, what a great story! I love it so much, Dave Ross. Thank you for being here. And oh, thanks oh, for having me. Oh shit, we gotta get back to work. All right. Dum 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 dum. Make a sound, calm down, it's dumb people town. Scarpins Audio, a podcast, <clears throat> a podcast network.